Good afternoon, Dolly friends. I'm back. My name is Gina, and I have in front of you my gorgeous Grace Victoria. And Grace is the Zoe sculpt by Natalie Blick, and she's a limited edition. And off the top of my head, I cannot remember which number she is and how many out of the edition. Um, if I look it up later, I can do that. And then I shall simply uh, put that in the description. But for the moment, she is wearing a blue seven outfit. It has the little... It's, it's a pink background with little butterfly cap sleeves. Underneath the cap sleeves are little white ones. And they even have a little bit of gray on them, just like the ruffles that go across the bodice of her dress. And she's got a little gray bunny hanging from a clothesline. And there's little shoes and a top and some birdies. And she is adorable. And I know some of you are saying, wait, 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 I thought you changed that Grace into a Grant and then you got another doll and you changed it to Grace and you changed this one to Grant. Well, you're right, I did. But I was very, I found that I wasn't, at first I was very excited about it. And at first I liked it. And at first I thought this is going to be so cute to coordinate girl outfits and boy outfits and it'll look darling and I don't have a little boy that size and it might be fun to buy boy clothes in that size. Well, long story short, as most of us doll collectors do and me especially, I changed my mind. So now Grace and I are going to sit and talk with you and I am going to tell you about my vacation. So just hang on for one moment, please. Okay, I'm back and I've got Grace with me. Um, so I wanted to come on. I am back from my vacation. I wanted to tell you that I had an absolute wonderful time on my vacation. I mean to tell you, it was fabulous. Um, my son and his girlfriend, who eventually he want they he wants to get married, but he wants to they. You know things are different than when I was young and, and, and I think too, maybe I was a little, still a little more old fashioned because to me, you fell in love, you got married, you had your jobs, you finished college and, or in my case, we got married and then finished college and then three years, well, three and a half to almost four years later, my daughter was born and you just start your life, but things are very different now. So anyway, I was talking to my son about if he thought that they would get married and he seems to think that they will. He said he has some things in mind. So maybe in about a year, I'll have an engagement announcement, but time will tell, we shall see. Um, he has some pretty good ideas. I hope you can see Grace very well and myself very well here. Um, yeah, this little Zoe sculpt, I, every time I looked at it, even in the boy clothes after a while, I just, all I would see was pretty girl. Yeah, I would just see my pretty girl and I just couldn't go on not seeing a pretty girl. So I've changed her back and I've decided I'm still gonna have fraternal twins but now it'll be a little easier on me because they look differently. So they can actually wear the same outfits. <laughs> it's 
So it's going to be fun. I'm, I'm happy. I'm pleased. I love this size doll. The outfit I have her in is one of my favorites. Um, this came with her box opening from Tammy, and I, I love it. I love it on her. Um, I love the flutter sleeves. I love the little bit of gray underneath, and I hope you can see her well. I hope you can see her well. So, anyway, um, what else did we want to talk about? Oh, I noticed that there's been quite a bit of hmm, upset in the doll hobby once again concerning replicas or knockoffs or whatever people want to call them, um, counterfeits. I don't know. I noticed that. I'm going to tell you this. I have my opinion. And I know how I am personally. I will admit to one time. Um, buying a replica. And had such a terrible experience with it. I said never, ever, ever again. It wasn't worth the money that I spent on it. Um, and I always generally, if I can get authentic in everything in my life, I want the authentic. So I prefer authentic dolls. That's how I like to collect. And when I say authentic, I am even including other types of collector dolls, such as Lee Middleton and Paradise Galleries and Ashton Drake and perhaps uh, Mal Madame Alexander or, um, you know, I can't think of anything else off the top. Maybe, maybe old man, you, you know, maybe you collect vintage dolls too. So maybe you have some ID, ideal dolls. Now those are not realistic. They're not reborns. None of the Paradise Galleries, Ashton Drake, um, Lee Middleton, Madame Alexander, Mattel, Ideal. Um, I know those are not those are not reborn dolls. They're baby dolls. They're, they could be, but they could still be a collector doll if they're no longer made, or if they're a limited edition, or if they come with a COA, and a COA is a certificate of authenticity. And so there's many, I guess what my point is, and, and, and porcelain dolls and things, but you, you'd have to have certain brands, you know. Um, there are a lot of, my point is there are a lot of different collectibles, a lot of different items that are considered collectibles, and different dolls that are collectibles. As far as true reborn dolls, art dolls go, I want the authentic, true, reborn art doll. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I want. Um, and that's what I have. I have some manufactured dolls as well. As I said, they can, they too could be collectors because they come with a certificate. They come with a COA. So, um, I also think it's great that the, that Natalie, the artist, Natalie Scholl, is now hoping that other artists along with her, and she's worked over six years to protect their work. I, I don't have a problem with other companies making realistic dolls and saying these are collectors. Um, what I have a problem with is stealing the sculpt from a sculpting artist, even calling it by the same name, and then trying to pass it off as an authentic reborn. That's what I don't like. Um, so that's where I stand on it. And I have no right, no position, no authority I am not holding judgment on any single person that 
collects those types of dolls because that is between you and your conscious and what you want and enjoy and I have no business whatsoever zero 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 business whatsoever telling you where and how to spend your money I'm not trying to do that and I'm not trying to make anybody that feels bad in fact I watch some channels that mostly they collect they collect replicas and they really enjoy them and I'm happy they enjoy them they're just not for me so anyway off my soapbox done with that I wish everybody well what I want is for everybody in the hobby to um, enjoy what they want have what they want and be happy collecting so and I'm I'm uh, you know I'm very satisfied right now with my collection truthfully I had thought about another sculpt in fact I thought about maybe because I love her work I had thought about contacting uh, Melissa O'Neill and seeing if she would do you know she's from Ireland and why can't I think of the name of her nursery oh my gosh well I don't remember anyway Grace what are we gonna do mommy cannot remember what should we do about that you don't know? Oh, she says I should get more sleep. Get what? I should get more sleep. Well, then you babies need to take longer naps. She says no to what? No to the naps. <laughs> anyway, um, I am, like I said, my, my kid. Anyway, I was going to tell you about my vacation, and then I got off on a tangent, which is very typical of me. Um, so, but I've, I've really enjoyed my vacation. Um, my son and daughter, well, I say daughter-in-law, she's not my daughter-in-law yet. I know she will be eventually, but anyway, my son and his girlfriend spoiled me rotten. They cooked dinner almost every night. He, he cooked or she cooked most of the time. Most of the time she cooked and she's a good cook. My son is pretty good at what he makes. <laughs> what he actually, one night I even helped him with the dish because he said, now I'm supposed to saute these onions, mom, but how, how will I know that they're done when they turn brown? And I said, no, you want them to be clear and soft, but not brown. If they're brown, they're burnt. He's like, huh? I said, I'll show you. <laughs> so anyway, um, that was kind of fun because I worked with him in his kitchen and got to help him a little bit. And, but anyway, they took me, they took me to the aquarium in Orlando, Florida in Icon Park. It's called Sea Life. Gorgeous aquarium. So much fun. Looks very small on the outside, but you get in there and there's so many different displays. I loved it. Beans that I love fish and fish keeping. I loved it. And even he enjoyed it, even though he's not into the fish. Um, we also went to Madame Tursault's wax museum. And some of those wax pieces do look so real. You do do a double take. And that was a lot of fun. I had my picture taken with Leonardo DiCaprio and Tom Hanks and with Brad Pitt. Um, I let Wax Brad Pitt know that he was a fool for not, um, for breaking up with Jennifer Aniston. I did let him know that. It was very important that I get that out of my system. So I told Wax Brad Pitt that. Uh, we saw Serena Williams. We saw, um, Peyton Manning, we saw Selena Gomez, we saw Shrek and Fiona and their onion carriage. Uh, we saw Batman and Superman. I saw Thomas Edison and Walt Disney. And 
who was else? What else that I liked? Oh, Jimmy Kimmel. Um, yeah, it was it was really a lot of fun. Then we went, which was fun for me. They took they took me to their like my kids took the the kids took me to my their favorite haunts. Like there is a particular restaurant they love to go to for breakfast. So after church on Sunday, we went to this breakfast place. I had a fabulous meal. Then Megan said, I want, oops, well, I, now you know her name. Uh, she said, I want to take you to my favorite thrift shops. So we went thrifting. Uh, Michael took me to his favorite shop where it's like overstock or a company has gone bankrupt or they've gone out of business and they have all these things items left over and they put it in the store it's called ollie's maybe some of you have heard of it i found out that ollie's is also in missouri so i'm quite pleased i got some wonderful gifts for christmas already at ollie's i got a cute little thing i can stick on my aquarium from thrifting. I was trying not to buy much because I did only have one suitcase. I took a big one, but it was still only one. And uh, and my purse, I didn't, uh, you know, so I checked my bag and then I just had my purse with me. It made riding on the airplane very easy. Um, we went to a Lake, Al Lake Alpaca, um, drive through nature wildlife preserve i saw ibis blue herons alligators um this one bird i don't even know the name of it but it was black and it had like a little red beak on it gorgeous jet black gorgeous little bird um Michael's girlfriend has an app on her phone that is so cool that you press this app and then you, you can put it outside and just hold it there and it picks up the sounds of various birds and it'll tell you which birds are there in the area even though you don't see them. So cool. Um, loved, loved, loved the nature preserve. I, that was just awesome um what else did we do um oh and then one day we took a walk to a park that's real close by their house and it's a, this big boardwalk and it's where they had grown this enormous florida had the oldest bald cypress tree in the region and there is a sister tree to it and then they did take like some of the roots and do some splicing and there is a uh another duplicate the same same dna of this particular tree the one that we saw was 3500 years old the base was so huge i can't even describe how big it was i tried to take pictures of it it lasted from like 18 something i want to say 1856 but i don't know the date all the way through 2012, I believe, went through hurricanes, survived hurricanes, all kinds of tropical weather, uh, a lightning strike where part of the tree came down. It was over 180 feet tall, um, or maybe 160. It then someone went in the park and uh, flicked a cigarette or they were smoking meth or something and they burned the tree down. So all that's left is the base and um, there's a huge fence around it. Then the and they let the kids in the different uh, from different elementary schools name these trees. So the one that's been there so long, they called the Senator. Then there's the sister tree that is about 40 yards from the Senator. And that one is named Lady Liberty. And I think at the moment she's like 140 feet tall. 
or 130 feet maybe. And then the actual duplicate is at a different section of the park and all of these have huge fences around them. And uh, that one the kids named the Phoenix because it is the one that is the same as the Senator. So I hope I haven't bored you to tears. That, but those were the things I did. That's the type of stuff I love and enjoy. I had a fantastic time. I came home. Uh, I spent time with lots of time with my mom and dad. My father is has decided to get a knee replacement surgery. He's getting ready to set a date now. I don't know anything further from that, but I know that um, I will be staying with them. 24-7 um, for about three weeks. My sister's going to come and help some so that they are well cared for after his surgery. So that's all that's going on. Like I said, my kids are good. My daughter, the pregnancy, uh, we're getting close, guys. I mean, we're into August. She's due October 5th. Um... We're hoping this baby decides not to come until the end of September. We don't want another baby born six weeks early. So we're just waiting and so far so good. And that's about it. I know I bored you to tears, but I wanted to give you this long, quick update. I hope you enjoyed seeing Grace again. This is now Grace Victoria. I will introduce you to the Pippa Sculpt again, reintroduce you on another video. Um, she is still Grace's twin, but she has a new name and both of them are girls. And like I said, they are fraternal twins. So Gracie, can you tell everybody? Okay. She says, bye-bye aunties. Bye-bye uncles. And remember, no matter what you're going through, God loves you and him's always there for you. God bless. Bye bye, dolly friends. Okay. Ah, let's turn this off.